Let's start with the uh, calories, the macros, the good stuff. Alrighty, 1,705 calories today. I was five calories over 1,700, and so I did a total of 25 burpees. That definitely wrecked me. I could have changed my eating to avoid that extra five calories, but I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's, let's, let's throw some 25 burpees in there. So what did I eat today? Two scoops of whey protein uh, once in the morning and once in the afternoon after, no, evening after my workout. Um, one packet of athletic greens, that was taken in the morning. Uh, one cup of coffee, 8.1 ounces of potatoes, uh, nine ounces of tri-tip steak. That was my favorite part of the day. Um, 142 grams of spinach, four ounces of chicken breast, one banana, which I put in a packet of this um, chia seed, pumpkin seed, uh, instant oatmeal that I never had before. It was very grainy, but I liked it. I liked it. Um, four ounces of brown rice and three dates and one tablet, one calcium tablet with uh, vitamin D3. So that came out to 1,705, 173 grams of protein, 143 grams of carbs, and 40 grams of fat. <sighs> I, uh, I have a disposition that I went to sleep with yesterday. Where did it come from? I feel more optimistic. I think it's uh, it's taken me a month or so to for it to finally dawn on me. Even though I've talked about it and I, I've, I've mentioned what it is that I want to do, it becomes clearer and clearer the more I state it out loud and walk the path uh, to completion. And what started out in my mind as a health and wellness consulting service where I would advise people on how to achieve their ideal physique, get to the body that they would want to see in the mirror and all that good stuff. What I've always felt resistance with in relation to providing this service is an emphasis on uh, information when it comes to like working out and nutrition and all that stuff because in my opinion there's just so much information out there that a person has access to via internet through YouTube Google even AI <laughs> there's just so much uh, available accessible information when it comes to if you want to figure out how to get shredded you can just go on the internet type how do I get shredded and there is information that will tell you how to do that. So that's why I'm not really interested in doing it because I don't know, it just doesn't light me up. Posting consistently and, and writing and, and journaling and, and using stream of consciousness on a daily basis, I become clearer and clearer about the service that I want to provide is centered around achieving discipline in order to become the person that you want to be, achieve the body that you want to uh, achieve. It's a mental journey as much as it is a physical one. And it, it, it's taken me weeks if not months to really come to terms with that. I am selling a discipline training program and it's an eight week course. The way of the shred 
is about discipline because like I said, all of the information on how to get shredded, how to get your perfect body is available uh, <laughs> almost in infinite amounts. And sure, there is so much information that a person could find uh, bad information as a result of the oversaturation of the topic. However, yeah, I can definitely help with that. <laughs> Should a client choose to work with me and my focus being on, all right, let's, let's get disciplined, let's get focused, let's see what habits we can change on a daily basis that you can stick to in order to see the results that you are interested in seeing. Yeah, I can provide that. And you might have a couple of questions like, oh, um, is this workout okay to do? Because one YouTube channel is saying I should do this workout and then another YouTube channel is saying I shouldn't do this workout. What do you think, Sean? And I'll take a look at the workout and say, yeah, um, that looks fine. Or no, it looks like it would, based off of my limited knowledge, since I don't have a degree in kinesiology, I wish I did and I would like to in the future, perhaps if I had the time. Um, but yeah, I would be able to take a look at, at your question and say, based off of my limited experience, uh, when it comes to working out or nutrition or, or whatever, just my uh, enthusiastic and passionate um, mindset when it comes to health and wellness and nutrition and all that stuff, I would be able to weigh in on a specific question such as uh, certain workouts to do and certain foods to eat and things of that nature. But it really comes back to what's happening in the mind. A person comes to me with a desire to improve their physique. They say, Sean, I want to be shredded. I, I want to look a certain way. I want to, to look in the mirror and be happy uh, with how I look. I want to feel good. How can you help me get there? What I will tell them is to start focusing on the daily habits. Getting from point A to point B occurs from taking steps. One step, two step, three step, four step. If it's a thousand mile journey, it all starts with that first step on the thousand mile path. And the thing that I am myself coming to terms with is that <laughs> there, you know, I really was thinking that I wanted to create uh, this kind of fun vibe about the whole thing. Uh, that like, hey, yeah, you can get your best shape and feel good and look good and it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to like feel like you're sacrificing something. There's no compromises that need to occur. You can get there and be smiling the whole time. I still, to some extent, believe that, but it's less of an emphasis now. Now my focus is on there's going to be moments of struggle and this is an opportunity to lean into those moments because if the whole thing was just sunshine and roses and you're you're just getting through each day like not really feeling any kind of resistance to change i just don't know if it's as rewarding as if you were as if you were experiencing struggle if you were experiencing um a certain level of resistance I can speak from my own experience and like I said, this is the most disciplined I have been perhaps in my entire life and I have definitely experienced uh, the resistance that has come along with making the changes that I need to make in order to become as disciplined as I need to become to do the things that I want to do. I would say that I'm most happy about the situation because my specific goal is getting to 5%, which is perhaps as difficult as a individual who has 35% body fat and wants to get to 20%. Perhaps my struggle mirrors someone else's struggle and it might not be the same pursuit but because it's a similar path, it's a similar journey, I'll still be able to help and assist as needed. So yeah, I feel invigorated because 
it's just this realization we started off talking about the way of the shred being a philosophy and that the book that I'm writing is a manifesto on the mindset that's associated with wanting to walk the path of the way of the shred. Well, now it just becomes a lot clearer. This whole philosophy is that of figuring out what's required and then committing to the practice. If you have an idea in your head that you want to see actualized in reality, you have to identify the steps that are necessary to create that idea in reality. And then, once those steps are identified, you must commit to them each day. I would say prior to this week, I was even thinking along the lines of you don't have to commit every day. You can cheat yourself, you can cheat the system. And, <laughs> you know, I was always looking for a loophole. I was always looking for a way out because deep down, I didn't want to be disciplined. I didn't want to change my habits in a way that felt more structured because it felt like it was infringing on my free spirit my go with the flow attitude. Hmm. At this point now, every decision I make is conducive to my goals as opposed to if this was last week or the past year, every decision I made was trying to find some wiggle room in the rules. I had the knowledge. I knew what I had to do in order to get shredded. I knew what I had to do in order to look the way that I wanted to, to, to look or get the results that I wanted. And I would do my best to find ways around the knowledge that I was accumulating And now, you know, I've been asking myself the question, what do I want to be an expert in? What can I be an expert in? Since I didn't go to college, I don't have a degree in nutrition or, or like I said, kinesiology. I don't even have a, a certification in personal training at this point. I was certified, I'm no longer. And I've been asking myself, what am I, and what am I going to become an expert in? What is the thing that I'm going to be investing all of my time, my intention, uh, my energy into. What is the thing that people are going to recognize me for? And it's mindset. It is changing your mental habits and applying them to daily tasks that get you closer to your goal. It's a mental journey. And making sure that when working with clients, we focus less on the physical results because they are pretty much inevitable when you actually implement the specific science that's applied to fat loss, getting a certain body. If you stick with the, with the rules, which I can definitely assist with, you will achieve all that you have in mind for yourself but it's sticking with the rules. It's, it's knowing that there's changes that you have to make in your life on a daily basis that will result in the positive results that you have in mind. So that's where we are. Cheat days. I don't even think of cheat days anymore. I don't know when the next time I'll have one. It's probably after 5%. And even if I were to have one prior to hitting 5%, um, it wouldn't really be a cheat day. It would just be me eating like a slice of pizza and factoring that into my 1,700 calories, which would be a real crisis since I feel like I would still be relatively hungry. The one cool thing, and this is just a big little tidbit, 
The one cool thing about uh, sticking to whole food ingredients, single ingredient foods when it comes to uh, your diet and operating on a caloric deficit is that single ingredient foods just happen to be a lot more filling than something that's, you know, super heavy in calories like like a pasta. I mean, yeah, pasta will fill you up pretty quickly, but then at the same time, by the time that you're done, you will have eaten 600, 700 calories, and then two hours later, you're starving again. I don't know if it's worth it. I personally don't think it is. Um, but anyway, what I'm saying is you go out to a restaurant, and they load up the food with all this fat, and all this carbs, this bread, and it's all high in calories, and you finish the meal, and you have hit your caloric budget for the day, and you still want more. Don't get me wrong, I still want more at the end of my day after eating my chicken breast and my, my steak and my potato and my brown rice. It's a full experience, which I still want more of. However, I'm still able to function and I don't find myself crying in the bathroom or, or some other random place in the, in the house or work. So perhaps this is a bit of a digression. Um, I say all this to say that we are heading in a clearer direction about the service that I'm offering. You want to get shredded? I can tell you how. But what I'm more interested in is focusing on the why you want to get shredded and then reinforcing that day in and day out so that on the days that it's hard, we can go back to that core motivation, that core desire that you came to me with. You came to me because you wanted to see change and I am here to help you with that change. Alrighty, so that's what I got. I'm gonna start posting um, recorded conversations with my client, Nicole. Um, we've had some pretty great conversations over the past couple of weeks. Uh, and it's been really fun to hear how she maneuvers each day in order to achieve her specific goals and, and to see how her mindset has changed over time. Uh, so I'm going to start posting that on YouTube, uh, whether it be through this channel or my uh, separate channel, The Apex Frequency. Um, but I see the value and sharing that with my middling, my budding, my budding community. Uh, because that's what we're doing here. It's, it's talking about mindset and figuring out why do we want to do things that are hard? Is it for the results or is it for what actually happens in your mind just, just from committing to, to a task and amazing yourself with how easy it becomes over time. Finding yourself able to get out of bed earlier than you used to. Making time for the gym each day when before there was no time. That's what I'm interested in. That's what I'm committing to. All right, I've gone around in a circle. I'm just excited. I feel like I have a, a business plan, a format. <laughs> now it's all about execution. To be continued. <laughs>